Okay, let's go to number two. Uh, which of the following structures spans are most likely? So this is, we have a concrete joist pan construction with 18 foot spans, structural steel wide flange framing uh, plan with 35 foot spans, open web steel joist spanning 65 feet to masonry bearing walls, uh, two by 12s at 16 inches on center with 24 foot spans. Um, so this is kind of an odd uh, question. This is really just uh, trying to get, uh, you know, if you look through the program, you'll see the sort of dimensionally, and you look at the, the plans, you'll see dimensionally uh, a bunch of opportunities to sort of answer this from a number of different angles. But I actually think the easiest way to answer this is there's nothing in any of the program information that would ask for anything unusual. And pretty much for this kind of context, all of these are unusual except uh, B that uh, steel wide flange with uh, roughly 35 foot spans is for an office building going to be the kind of typical situation. It means that our uh, windows won't be very far away from all the people, so we'll have windows in the courtyard side and the other side. Uh, so it just sort of answers all of the issues. The 18 foot spans are just too small for this kind of uh, use. The two by 12s just don't make any sense uh, for a four story uh, building that's uh, new construction. Uh, from a fire rating standpoint, and the 65-foot uh, spans open web steel joists. We might do something like that if there was some very pronounced reason that was put into the program uh, that said we really want to have uh, long spans, but uh, that's going to be much more expensive and difficult. It's going to bounce a lot. It's going to be difficult to, to make work uh, in this kind of context. Uh, so uh, really the only sort of logical answer is uh, steel 35-foot uh, uh, spans. So that's a little bit of an odd one. You can find it in a couple different ways through the, the tab information or just answering it uh, from uh, the way that we just did just now.